Savior, Jesus Christ, King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah to Jesus. You listening to Quantum. <laughs> that our Lord God has made and we will rejoice and be glad of it. Good morning to you. My name is Valeria Glass and welcome to a mid-morning radio show for Tuesday, the 30th of August in the year for Lord Jesus Christ 2022. We give the Lord Jesus Christ all the glory, all the honor and all the praise for this beautiful day that he has made. I've got Jesus. Do you have Jesus? Is he your Lord? Is he your guide? Is he your savior? Trust in him today. Lean on him today. Hallelujah. Before we go any further, let's bow our head in a word of prayer. Heavenly Father, we give you thanks. Thank you, Lord, for another day. Thank you, Jesus, that we have you. In you we live, in you we move, and in you we have our being. Heavenly Father, we ask, O oh God, that you continue to cover us under your blood, that you continue to be our guide, that you continue to be our guard, our shield. We thank you, Lord, that as long as we put our confidence and trust in you, we are well. We are, we have a sound mind. Thank you, Jesus, for all that you do and for all that you continue to do. Bless our program today. Bless our listeners in a very special way also. We give you all the honor, all the glory, and all the praise that you so deserve. Be glorified, O God. Be glorified. In our program today, be glorified, Father God, in all that we do. Thank you, Jesus, that we have you. In Jesus' name, amen. This song is by Evangelist Bridget Preacher. I've got Jesus. And when you got Jesus, you can rest assured that all will be well. Take away.
praise the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah to Jesus. You listening to Chronicles Titus Christian chapter 2 from, the from verse 11 to 15. For the grace of God that bringeth salvation had appeared to all men, teaching us that denying ungodliness and worldly lust, we should live soberly, righteously, and godly in this present world, looking for that blessed hope and the glorious appearing of the great God and our Savior, Jesus Christ, who gave himself for us, that he might redeem us from all iniquity and purify unto himself a peculiar people zealous of good works. These things speak and exhort and rebuke with all authority. Let no man despise thee. Titus chapter 2 verse 11 to 15. <laughs> Radio show here on Chronicles Christian Radio and Adoration FM, AdorationFMSVG.com. I must apologize for the break there a while ago as the computers decided to shut off. But nevertheless, we are here again as we lift up Jesus Christ as we worship our Lord and magnify and praise His name. Special shout out to those of you who are at work, whether you're on the farm, whether you're at home, whether you're on the road, wheresoever you are, whether you're on the sea. I pray that the Lord Jesus Christ would continue to protect you and deliver you from all evil, harm, and danger. Our verse for today is from the book of Ephesians chapter 2 verse 19. It says, Now therefore ye are no more strangers and foreigners, but fellow citizens with the saints and of the household of God. Once again, Ephesians chapter 2 verse 19. Now therefore ye are no more strangers and foreigners, but fellow citizens with the saints and of the household of God. The song that we are listening to is called It's Tis So Sweet to Trust in Jesus, sang by E. Brown out of the island of Antigua. And indeed, when we think of the words, it is so sweet to trust in Jesus. Today, coming up in a while, we are going to be going into the book of Ephesians, and we're going to find out of of, of how God has placed us as followers and believers in Jesus and our authority in Jesus Christ. So stay tuned and do get your Bible as you open up the Holy Word and get into God's Word. It is so sweet to trust in Jesus. Are you trusting in Him wholeheartedly? It's a question for each of us to answer for our own selves. To trust is cleansing blood, just in simple faith to plunge me. Need the healing, cleansing blood. Jesus, Jesus, how I trust Him, how I Oh, for grace to trust Him more. 
precious Jesus. Oh, for grace to trust Him more. I have Jesus. This song is by the Gators Vocal Band. Jesus. And it's so important to have Jesus. Jesus, he's the anchor of our souls, the anchor for our souls, and the anchor of our souls. And uh, I'm reminded of a story in the Bible, of a parable that Jesus spoke about the, the man who built his house, one built his house on the rock, and one built his house on the sand. And you see, when we build our lives on Jesus and the things of God and ensure that we are doing his will and his work, he always makes a way for us. Because no matter what wind blows, no matter what storms of life comes, we are able to still function and thrive and survive because Jesus Christ, he is still on the throne. And it's important to continuously abide in him. In fact, in the book of St. John, he says to abide in him. He is the, the branch and we are the vine. And so the vines must be connected to the branch. And so that's where we get our sustenance from. That's where we get our feeding, our life from Jesus. So we can't and you can't afford to not hear about Jesus. So no matter what your state is in life, hold on to Jesus. Don't give up. Don't be like Peter looking around at the water. He was walking on water. Peter was walking on water. Think of that. Jesus was walking on the water. But when Peter took his eyes off of Jesus and he realized that he was on water, he was doing something impossible, he began to sink. And the important thing is to keep your eyes on Jesus Christ. Keep your eyes on Jesus. Not on your pastor, not on your, your leader. Yes, you should know what's happening around you. But most of all, know and keep your eyes on Jesus Christ. Before we go into the word today, a word coming from the book of Ephesians, we're going to listen to this song by Kevin Downswell. It's called Nobody But Jesus. You're listening to a mid-morning radio show. 
or Tuesday and Thursdays from 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. You know, when you look back over your life and you realize what the Lord Jesus Christ has done for you, it is reason to give him all the honor, reason to give him all the glory. It is reason to give him all the praise and just to abide and to stay in his presence. Uh, If you do not know the Lord Jesus Christ as your Savior, I want to encourage you to accept the Lord Jesus Christ as your Savior and your Lord. He will lead you in this life and he would ensure that there is a place in heaven for you in the life to come hallelujah blessed be the name of jesus at this time we're going into the word and the word today is taken from ephesians and we'll be listening to ephesians chapter one two and three and uh, the the book of ephesians this was initially a letter written by the apostle paul to the church that is the believers of jesus christ the church in a location called ephesus and so this 
has is also applied to the body of Christ slash the church who is in the earth today. And uh, the body of Christ is also called a bride of Christ. And when Jesus returns, he would take his bride from the earth. And he would have the marriage supper of the Lamb in heaven. And that's for another time as we talk about that later on. And uh, at this time, let's get into the word. Heavenly Father, we pray a blessing upon the word as it would go forth. And that some heart would understand more of you. As you would listen to your word in Jesus' name. Amen. So let's listen now to Ephesians chapter 1, chapter 2, and chapter 3. The letter of Paul to the Ephesians. Ephesians 1. Paul, an apostle of Jesus Christ by the will of God, to the saints which are at Ephesus, and to the faithful in Christ Jesus. Grace be to you and peace from God our Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who hath blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ. According as he hath chosen us in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and without blame before him in love. Having predestinated us unto the adoption of children by Jesus Christ to himself, according to the good pleasure of his will, to the praise of the glory of His grace, wherein He hath made us accepted in the Beloved, in whom we have redemption through His blood, the forgiveness of sins according to the riches of His grace, wherein He hath abounded toward us in all wisdom and prudence, having made known unto us the mystery of His will according to His good pleasure which He hath purposed in Himself that in the dispensation of the fullness of times he might gather together in one all things in Christ, both which are in heaven and which are on earth, even in him, in whom also we have obtained an inheritance, being predestinated according to the purpose of him who worketh all things after the counsel of his own will, that we should be to the praise of his glory who first trusted in Christ in whom ye also trusted, after that ye heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation, in whom also, after that ye believed, ye were sealed with that Holy Spirit of promise, which is the earnest of our inheritance until the redemption of the purchased possession unto the praise of his glory. Wherefore I also, after I heard of your faith in the Lord Jesus and love unto all the saints, cease not to give thanks for you, making mention of you in my prayers, that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give unto you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him, the eyes of your understanding being enlightened, that ye may know what is the hope of his calling and what the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints, and what is the exceeding greatness of his power to usward, who believe, according to the working of his mighty power, which he wrought in Christ, when he raised him from the dead and set him at his own right hand in the heavenly places, far above all principality and power, and might and dominion and every name that is named, not only in this world, but also in that which is to come, and hath put all things under his feet and gave him to be the head over all things to the church, which is his body, the fullness of him that filleth all in all. Ephesians 2 And you hath he quickened, who were dead in trespasses and sins, wherein in time past ye walked according to the course of this world, according to the prince of the power of the air, the spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience among whom also we all had our conversation in times past, in the lusts of our flesh, fulfilling the desires of the flesh and of the mind, and were by nature the children of wrath, even as others. But God, who is rich in mercy for his great love wherewith he loved us, even when we were dead in sins, hath quickened us together with Christ. By grace ye are saved." and hath raised us up together, and made us sit together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus, 
that in the ages to come he might show the exceeding riches of his grace in his kindness toward us through Christ Jesus. For by grace are ye saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. For we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus unto good works, which God hath before ordained that we should walk in them. Wherefore remember that ye being in time past Gentiles in the flesh, who are called uncircumcision by that which is called the circumcision in the flesh made by hands, that at that time ye were without Christ, being aliens from the commonwealth of Israel, and strangers from the covenants of promise, having no hope and without God in the world. But now in Christ Jesus ye who sometimes were far off are made nigh by the blood of Christ. For he is our peace, who hath made both one, and hath broken down the middle wall of partition between us. Having abolished in his flesh the enmity, even the law of commandments contained in ordinances, for to make in himself of twain one new man, so making peace. And that he might reconcile both unto God in one body by the cross, having slain the enmity thereby. And came and preached peace to you which were afar off, and to them that were nigh. For through him we both have access by one Spirit unto the Father. Now therefore ye are no more strangers and foreigners, but fellow citizens with the saints and of the household of God, and are built upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets, Jesus Christ himself being the chief cornerstone, in whom all the building fitly framed together groweth unto an holy temple in the Lord in whom ye also are builded together for an habitation of God through the Spirit. Ephesians 3 For this cause I, Paul, the prisoner of Jesus Christ, for you Gentiles, if ye have heard of the dispensation of the grace of God which is given me to you word, how that by revelation he made known unto me the mystery, as I wrote afore in few words, whereby when ye read, ye may understand my knowledge in the mystery of Christ, which in other ages was not made known unto the sons of men, as it is now revealed unto his holy apostles and prophets by the Spirit, that the Gentiles should be fellow heirs, and of the same body, and partakers of his promise in Christ by the gospel, whereof I was made a minister according to the gift of the grace of God given unto me by the effectual working of his power. Unto me, who am less than the least of all saints, is this grace given, that I should preach among the Gentiles the unsearchable riches of Christ, and to make all men see what is the fellowship of the mystery which from the beginning of the world hath been hid in God, who created all things by Jesus Christ. To the intent that now unto the principalities and powers in heavenly places might be known by the church the manifold wisdom of God, according to the eternal purpose which he purposed in Christ Jesus our Lord, in whom we have boldness and access with confidence by the faith of him, Wherefore I desire that ye faint not at my tribulations for you, which is your glory. For this cause I bow my knees unto the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, of whom the whole family in heaven and earth is named, that he would grant you, according to the riches of his glory, to be strengthened with might by his Spirit in the inner man, that Christ may dwell in your hearts by faith, that ye, being rooted and grounded in love, may be able to comprehend with all saints what is the breadth and length and depth and height, and to know the love of Christ, which passeth knowledge, that ye might be filled with all the fullness of God. Now unto him that is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think, according to the power that worketh in us, unto him be glory in the church by Christ Jesus throughout all ages, world without end. Amen.
And then we have a word taken from the book of Ephesians, chapter 1, chapter 2, and chapter 3. You're listening to our mid-morning radio show for Tuesday, the 30th of August, in the year for Lord Jesus Christ, 2022. And yes, time is going by very quickly, and we have to be reminded to make the most of every day. We heard of Jesus Christ. We heard of him. And uh, it is a blessing whenever we spend time in the word itself. For Jesus Christ, he is the word. The written word that we read represents God and how important Jesus Christ is. Now, the last thing that we heard said, Now unto him that is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think according to the power that worketh in us unto him be glory in the church by Christ Jesus throughout all ages world without end amen and that's something that we would hear from time to time uh, at church and so God God the, the eternal God and eternal God means that he exists in eternity you and I we are living in time and time has an end but eternity does not have an end so let's understand that first off God is self-existent which means that nobody created God God is just God God is self-existent God is a spirit the Bible tells us that in the beginning God created the heaven and the earth so God created time and so God created time and we human beings we exist in time but a part of us which is our soul will live on after our life our time on earth is ended will live on in eternity and so eternity has uh, heaven or hell okay and this is a place where our soul would live for eternity and so we're to understand that and keep that in our minds every day we are not here to to stay forever we're not here to live forever there are persons who have lived on this same earth before you and I who every day they had a different task to do they had their assignment to do and so they did their their time and their time came to an end and that time in history is now history it is history and now we today living on the earth we are here and god also have an assignment for each of us to do and we are to do his assignment but in order to understand and find out what our assignment is we ought to go in his word. We ought to have a relationship with him so that he can order our steps, so that he can lead us. He can guide us as to what to do, when to do, and how to do. Now let's get back to, to the word that we heard. Ephesians, the letter from the Apostle Paul to the church of Jesus Christ in Ephesus. Now, he introduced this letter by saying, Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who had blessed us, that is, the believers, the, the believers of Jesus. He had blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in, in Christ, according as he had chosen us, in him before the foundation of the world let's understand that before the foundation of the world so before he created time god knew that you would have been on his earth in this time so he had had chosen us before the foundation of the world that we should be holy and without blame before him in love so he expects us to live holy lives verse 5 says having predestinated us unto the adoption of children by christ jesus to himself according to the good pleasure of his will 
to predestinate something means that you you already know of it beforehand okay so this this isn't something new but this was pre-planned it was planned before so god's destiny for us is that we ought to be his children his sons and daughters he has adapted us by jesus christ so when we have have jesus when you've accepted jesus when you've given ourselves to jesus when you've given our lives to jesus we have now become adopted children of god we are now uh, as it were heirs and joint heirs with christ now just skipping over quickly to chapter 2 and this is one of the the passages that i really really love from verses 1 to verses 9 and here it talks of how how we are quickened we are quickened as as, as earthlings as human beings as people dwelling in the earth the apostle paul is saying to the church of, of of jesus in ephesus as well as the believers of jesus christ who would read this and you had he quickened who were dead in trespasses and sins we are sinful we have a human nature which which is inclined to sin and he's saying wherein in time past you walked according to the course of this world according to the prince of the power of the air and the spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience so the children of disobedience they are walking according to the world you and i before we have accepted jesus christ we were walking according to the world walking according and living according to our flesh desires and he continues and he says among whom also we all had our conversation in time past in the lust of our flesh fulfilling the desires of the flesh and of the mind and were by nature the children of wrath even as others but but god but god who is rich in mercy we always say that god is a merciful god and so god who is rich in mercy for his great love wherewith he loved us even when we were dead in sins and we are reminded that all have sinned every human being as long as we are born into this earth we have sinned it is a natural inclination for us to sin why because the first man that god created on the earth and place here whose name was adam he sinned he represented all mankind and so because adam sinned all human beings who have been born into this earth have sinned and uh, we're told that we've come fallen short of the glory of god but god loved us so much that he sent a second adam and jesus christ is referred to as a second adam this second adam was born into this earth and he lived and he came to fulfill his purpose which was to die why so that the merciful god can restore us can redeem us can buy us back unto himself so that we can be adopted back into his family and be called his children and so god who is rich in mercy for his great love wear it he had loved us even when we were dead in sins had quickened us together with christ so we are quickened together with christ by grace ye are saved and because of christ he hath raised us up together and made us sit in heavenly places in christ jesus that is so powerful in christ jesus that is where we gain our authority in christ jesus that is where we gain our security in christ jesus that is where we gain our victory and verse 7 says of ephesians chapter 2 that in the ages to come that is a time to come that he might show the exceeding riches of his grace in his kindness towards us through christ jesus for by grace are you saved through faith and that not of yourselves it is the gift of god not of works lest any man should boast and verse 10 says for we are his workmanship created in christ jesus 
unto good works, which God had before ordained that we should walk in them. And so you and I, we are to do works. Yes, we are to do our work. But our work does not save us. Good works does not save us. Okay? Good works does not save us. The grace of our God through Jesus Christ is what saved us. And so trust in Jesus. Believe on him. Seek him. Hear of him. Do his will. Do his work. But know that God, who is rich in mercy and for his great love towards us, he has quickened us. We who were once dead cast away, sinful man, he has restored us. He wants us to have fellowship with him, but this fellowship can only be in the Lord Jesus Christ. Continue to trust in him. Continue to serve him. Continue to live for Jesus. I pray that something you heard today would encourage your heart as we continue to serve our Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus, he will provide your every need. Trust in him. Yes, we know that we are living in some challenging times, some difficult times, but hold on to Jesus. Abide in him. Abide in him. Pray. Read his word. Fellowship with other believers of Jesus Christ to encourage your faith in Jesus Christ. And he will lead you. He will guide you one day at a time, one step at a time. Bless the name of Jesus. Bless the name of Jesus. He's always worthy to be praised. Our lips are not sufficient to give him praise, but we give him praise nevertheless. At this time, let's bow our head in a word of prayer, giving God thanks for the word and giving him thanks for life. Heavenly Father, we praise you. Heavenly Father, we exalt you. Heavenly Father, we honor you. Heavenly Father, we magnify you, God, because you are great, you are exalted, you are Lord, you are God, and we just want to love on you, we just want to big you up, we just want to thank you, Jesus, that because you live, we can face today, and we can face tomorrow, and we can face the day after that. Lord, you have kept our minds, you have kept us thus far. 
And we trust you to continue to lead us. We trust you to continue to guide us, Lord, day by day, hour by hour, minute by minute. Lord, I pray for those who are worried, those who are anxious, those who are fearful, those who are depressed, those who are sick, those who are worried, Lord, those who don't know what, what to do, God. Lord, I bring mankind everywhere before you in the name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, I pray, O oh God, that they would find you. That they would find you, Lord God, through your servants, through your children in the earth. That they would be encouraged by you, O oh Father God, in the name of Jesus. Lord, we pray that your Holy Spirit would comfort their hearts. That your Holy Spirit would do the work that it can only do in the name of Jesus. That they would be convicted of you jesus and your love towards us human beings and lord as your ambassadors in the earth i pray oh god for all the believers of jesus christ i pray oh god that they be encouraged lord to encourage just one person into your kingdom encourage one person to hold on to faith hold on to hope hold on to your word heavenly father we pray for the churches that it will continue to shine the light of the gospel of jesus christ the gospel of Jesus Christ that Jesus came and died and he, he lived and he died and he rose from the dead and he is still alive today and Jesus we thank you that you are at your father's right hand waiting for the time when the father would say go get your bride Lord we until then we are anxiously anticipate that time when we'll meet you in the air. But until then, Lord, give us the tenacity and the grace and the strength to do our work here on your earth. We bless your name, Jesus. We exalt you and magnify you. Be glorified, O oh God. Be glorified in the heavens. Be glorified on the earth. Lord, we thank you. We thank you, Jesus. We pray for those who are tired and just about to give up. Give them the strength and the grace to keep on going for you, Jesus. Lord, we bless your name. We praise your name, magnify you. Be glorified, O oh God. Be magnified. Be glorified in our lives and in the earth. We ask and pray in Jesus' holy and precious name with thanksgiving. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Keep on lifting up the name of Jesus. Demons tremble. Evil has got to flee when you call on Jesus. So keep on calling on him. Keep on lifting up the name of Jesus. Singing songs of praise unto the Lord, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I thank you for spending this time with me this morning. I pray that you are blessed. You are encouraged by today's program. And so as, as the day continues, let us stay in Jesus. Let us stay in the rock. Stay on the rock and stay in the rock. Hallelujah. I live with this song by Alvin Slaughter, I Will Run To You. My name is Vanola Glasgow and it's been a joy and a pleasure. Ple ple it's been a joy and a pleasure and a privilege for me to share with you from the word of God today. I pray that you will be strong in God knowing that you are seated in Jesus Christ and you're seated in heavenly places. And the blessings of God be with you today and always in Jesus name. God bless you. As angels understand for your glory may you draw all men as your love and grace demands and I will run to you to your works of truth not by might not by power but by the spirit Oh,
for dear life, hiding behind the boulders, safe in the granite hideout. I sing to God the praise lofty and find myself safe and saved. The hangman's noose was tied at my throat. Devil waters rushed over me. Hell's rope cinched me tight. Death traps barred at every exit. A hostile world 
but I call to God. I cry to God to help me. From his palace, he hears my call. My cry brings me right into his presence, a private audience. See, he caught me and reached all the way from sky to sea. He pulled me out of that ocean of hate, that enemy of chaos. The void in which I was drowning, they hit me when I was down, but God stuck by me. He stood me up on a wide open field and I stood there saved, surprised to be loved. God made my life complete when I placed all the pieces before him. When I got my act together, he gave me a fresh start. Now I'm alert to God's ways. I don't take God for granted. Every day I review the ways he works. I try not to miss anything. I feel put back together. And I'm watching my step. God rewrote the text of my life when I opened the book of my heart to his eyes. Suddenly, God, you floodlight my life. I'm blazing with glory, God's glory. I smash the bands of the marauders. I vault the highest fences. What a God. His road stretches straight and smooth. Every God direction is road tested. Everyone who runs towards him makes it. I run to you.